In the aftermath of the Dragon Ruler domination, a new ban list was released on September 1st, 2013, and this list wasn't just a banning, it was a crucifixion. Still the largest Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list to date, Burner Dragon Ruler of Sparks, Elemental Hero Stratos, Lightning Dragon Ruler of Drafts, Number 16 Shockmaster, Reactin Dragon Ruler of Pebbles, Stream Dragon Ruler of Droplets, Card Destruction, Gateway of the Six, Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn, Pot of Avarice, Spellbook of Judgment, Super Rejuvenation, Solemn Judgment, and Ultimate Offering were all banned from official tournament play. Atlantean Dragoons, Brotherhood of the Firefist, Spirit, Constellar Ptolemy M7, Deep Sea Diva, Duloran Tiger King of the Ice Bigger, Evagishki Mind August, Gen X Ally Burnman, Rescue Rabbit, Thunder King Ryo, Dimensional Fisher, Gold Sarcophagus, Royal Tribute, Bottomless Trap Hole, Compulsory Evacuation Device, Eradicator Epidemic Virus, Macrocosmos, Soul Drained, and Torrential Tribute were all now limited to one copy each. Mizuki, Plague Spreader Zombie, TG Striker, Fire Formation Tanky, and Dimensional Prison were all now semi-limited to two copies per deck. And finally, Destiny Hero Malicious, The Agent Mystery of Earth, Sukuyomi, A Hero Lives, Black Whirlwind, E-Emergency Call, Hieratic Seal of Convocation, Pot of Duality, and Scapegoat were all now unlimited to three copies. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh!'s past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Yo, I'm the kick man. The only thing I like better than kick, kick, kicking MBT's butt on a weekly basis is all these kick, kick, kickbacks from TCG Player's new subscription service. On day one, earn 1% back. Kickback. After three months, earn 2% back. Kickback. After one year, earn 3% back. Or can I get a kickback? You'll also have your direct order shipped first and get free shipping. Now that's a kickback. Back. Stop dragging your feet and click the link in the description and use code CMO when you subscribe to start getting those kick kick kickbacks today. The first 500 people to subscribe receive $6.99 in TCG player credit. Woo! Well, folks, the ban list is out, and I am happy to report that Dragon Ruler is still the best deck by a lot. It turns out that banning the babies wasn't sufficient, and in this new daddy-centric metagame, decks would do whatever it took to get dragons into the graveyard. This resulted in a ton of new builds of Dragon Ruler, two of which we will be playing today. Let's see what I'm on. All right, I was kind of hoping that I would get this one. Dragoonity Rulers it is. Well, that was short-lived. It was fun being out of the shirt of shame while it lasted. Maybe that's how Evil Swarm won so many matches. It just played against bad Dragon Ruler players like me and was able to pick up easy wins. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The September 2013 ban list is upon us, and this is a crucifixion list and a half. You guys saw all the different cards that got banned, and oh my god, this changes absolutely nothing because as you can see, Dragon Rulers are still everywhere. It doesn't change nothing. There are still some other decks, and we'll explore those later on. But we want to show the evolution of Dragon Ruler by showcasing all the different directions the players started to explore with the babies and several of the power cards of the deck now banned. Now, since our last episode, I only have two spins on the wheel. We brought back the wheel because there's so many different Dragon Ruler decks to choose from. Let's see what we end up getting and see if that's going to be our selection. Not gonna lie, Blue Eyes Ruler sounds kinda sick. I think this takes advantage of White Stone and uh, Cards of Consonance and just being able to draw a bunch of cards and plus off of it. So yeah, let's give it a shot. Behold, Dragoonity Rulers. Now, Dragoonity Rulers is an interesting take on the strategy. It aims to use cards like Dragon's Ravine to get Dragoonities into your hand like Dragoonity Ducks. That, when equipped with Phalanx, allows you to ladder into an 8 and put a couple of dragons in the graveyard in the process. It's also arguably the best shell ever for Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms, which can banish any wind monster in order to summon itself, and Dragoonity Arma Missilitane, I've never said this card right in the 15 years it's been legal, is also kind of a Dragon Ruler 
ruler itself. It's not hard to see why this was so appealing to people, and it's not hard to see why it was one of the most successful of the Dragon Ruler builds post-ban. We're playing Patrick Hoban's list from the Columbus, Ohio ARGCS Circuit Series. Now, this took place in October, but necessitates a short discussion about what the ARGCS was. Now, if you've been following the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! for a while, you know that ARG is an immensely popular website and an immensely successful Yu-Gi-Oh! team, but it also was a vendor organization and eventually a tournament host. The ARGCS was a third-party champion series run by the individuals at ARG. There's really been nothing like it since. I think the closest approximation is the PPG tour that happened in 2019 or the luxury championship series that was held over the early part of COVID. Now these tournaments weren't full of backwater rogue hicks. These were attended by some of the best Yu-Gi-Oh players of the time. Patrick Hoban, for instance, made top eight with the list that you see in front of you today in October. At the height of ARG's popularity, topping one of these events was almost as difficult as topping a YCS. So it's not surprising to see a lot of familiar faces in top cuts. Now that we've talked about the ARGCS, let's talk about the format. So post baby ban, Dragon Ruler decks had a problem. And that problem was, how in the hell do we get enough dragons into the graveyard in order to facilitate setup plays? Dragon's Ravine was obviously an inclusion, but also around were tons of other decks, including Mythic Ruler, Plant Ruler, Blue Eyes White Dragon Dragon Ruler, Assault Mode Ruler, and many others. Additionally, a lower ceiling on the Dragon Ruler decks meant that some decks that were not able to compete prior were suddenly viable. Things like Evil Swarm made an appearance from their Dragon Ruler past, as did Spellbooks, but also decks like Constellar became increasingly popular. In fact, this event was won by a duelist on Constellar. Decks like Mermail that had previously been power crept out of the format, now with three title and no babies to worry about, had a fantastic and tremendous time during this era. But for me, my favorite is Dragoonity Ruler. Now, this deck is just incredible. Dragoonity Ducks forms a really powerful resource engine with Dragon's Ravine. As a result, this was one of the most powerful variations on Dragon Rulers, and shockingly, it's not even playing the max amount. Three Blaster, three Red Ox, and three Tempest means that there's no title in rotation, and that's absolutely fine with me. Otherwise, we've got a Mist, three copies of Ducks, two Phalanx, one Book of Moon, two Cards of Consonants. Despite the fact that this card shows a White Stone of Legends, we're using Using it to pitch a Dragoonity Phalanx. Triple Ravine, one Sarcophagus, triple Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars, you gotta get drawing in a format without babies. Two Terraforming, triple Upstart Goblin, Castle of Dragon Souls, this card's a little iffy and Hoban actually ended up cutting it from his list in almost every match uh, and says so in the deck profile. One Compulse, one Mirror Force, one Raigeki Break, triple Reckless Greed, one Return from the Different Dimension. Did you know that this is still legal? One Solemn Warning and speaking of cards that should be banned, Vanity's Emptiness rears its ugly head for this format. In the side, we've got DD Crow, Matayon, which I had thought came out a couple of years later, Triple Mystical Space Typhoon, Double Divine Wrath, A Chain Disappearance, Double Imperial Iron Rawl, Double Mystical Ref Panel. This is one of the most frustrating and unintuitive cards ever printed. It just does not do what it says it does. There is a list currently updated by YG Organization that contains every card that you can ref panel legally. And unfortunately, one of those cards is Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars, which is probably why why this was seeing play. Finally, we've got two Skill Drain. In the extra, we've got the Colossal Fighter, Double Crimson Blader, Gay Durg, Vajrayana, HDS Scythesmith, uh, Stardust Dragon, Scrap Dragon, Constellar Tolmy M7, Hieratic Dragon, King of a Tomb, Double Dracosac, and one Big Eye. Shaving down on those individual cards to make room for powerful synchros. So, excited to show off this deck, hoping I can show you what ducks can do. Man, this is so sick. Who can say that they were able to play Blue Eyes White Dragon in one of the most competitively feared decks of a format of all time? Time, right? And Blue Eyes actually shows up in multiple decks like this and even gets its own archetype. And like two ish weeks in the spotlight, the deck fared much better in Japan, but that may be because of representation. In any case, we'll get to that in a later episode. This is Blue Eyes Dragon Rulers. Now, obviously, in the aftermath of the September 2013 ban list, a lot of players were scrambling to figure out what the next direction for this deck was going to be. With all the babies banned and a lot of the power cards banned, what remained were all of the daddies being Blaster, Redox, Tempest, and Tidal. You now have a lot of open-endedness to decide what you want to use to fill those gaps to actually fill out the remaining parts of your deck. And one of these ideas came in the form of Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes is a vanilla, but it can be searched off of White Stone of Legend in a mandatory effect. This is also a tuner, which would tune with any of the level 7 dragons to go into your powerful level 8 
synchros like Colossal Fighter, Crimson Blade, or Scrap Dragon, or Stardust Dragon, but then pluses you when you use it that way to search a copy of Blue Eyes. Now, Vanilla Blue Eyes isn't that great, but it does serve two roles. First of which, it's a target for trade-in, which allows you to dig deeper into your deck while simultaneously filling the graveyard for its second utility, acting as a dragon that you can just banish for some of your dragon rulers to keep your stream of dragons going. You sort of form this like deep draw engine between the cards of consonants, the swords of seven stars, as well as the trade-ins that allow you to dig further and further into your deck to find more of your power cards, maybe even your defensive cards like Maxi if your hand isn't looking too great. And that way you're able to set up for some incredibly explosive turns. You also have the luxury of playing a card like Azure Eyes Silver Dragon, which in the mirror match is actually quite formidable. If it's special summon until the end of the next player's turn, neither player can target dragon monsters you control with card effects and they can't be destroyed by card effects. This means that if there's dragons out that are subjected to get run over by Crimson Blade or Azure Eyes can actually end up protecting them. And then once per turn during your standby phase, you can target a normal monster in your graveyard special summon it. This means you can bring back the blue eyes that you use to summon the Azure Eyes to then that way possibly go into more plays. Or you can bring back Flambell Guard, which then sets up for another play with one of your dragon rulers to maybe Crimson Lock your opponent on the following turn. So there's actually quite a bit of theory into the logic of why some players actually decided to go in this direction. And I actually like it quite a bit. This is Fraser Smith's list, I believe from one of the ARGs from around this time. And so let's do the card by card. So we have Triple Blaster, of course, Double Corsesca. This is great because it's a wind target that we can get off of Tempest, which means it's searchable. And it's also another wind we can pitch with Tempest to search our deck for any dragon. Triple Maxi, of course, Triple Redox, a Swift Scarecrow so we don't die. Triple Tempest, Double Whitestone to pair with our Double Blue Eyes, Triple Title, and one Flamball Guard. For the spells, it's pretty much all gas. Three cards of consonants, double different dimension reincarnation. This is really neat for being able to get stuff from the banished pile. And again, discarding cards is pretty negligible in Dragon Rulers just because any dragon you discard is just going to end up getting banished for a Dragon Ruler. So it's sort of like virtual advantage in that respect. So you can afford to actually discard a lot, which is why you see cards like this, like Ravine, as well as stuff like Phoenix Wind Windblast start to become more popularized. So DDR is in here just as an additional extender. Ravine's nice because we can either search for a tuner in Corsesca, or we can just dump more dragons into our graveyard to make sure we have all four of our colors filled. The triple sacred sword, the double trade in, and then we have Phoenix Wing Windblast return from the different dimension. A lot of people were mentioning in previous videos that our builds were not running this. This was a card that actually was not initially seen as being good for the Dragon Ruler decks. And after the September 2013 list, you start to see return from the different dimension almost become a staple because of the explosive capability that this card offers. And hopefully we'll get to demonstrate that in today's episode. Torrential and Vanities round out our main deck. The extra deck, we have two Ancient Fairy Dragon. This is nice because we can actually get into copies of Ravine quite easily and actually abuse them multiple times. We have Ancient Sacred Wyvern, which is something we haven't really seen come up, but it's a very strong card. Very easy to finish games with this if you're ahead. Armory Arm, the Azure Eyes Colossal Fighter, Double Crimson Blader. This is something that I think as the format developed, people started to realize if my first blader gets outed, it's really nice to have a second because the opponent isn't going to expect me to have two. So that way I can catch them off guard. They may feel safe knowing they outed it. And then you can just win immediately with the second one. The extra deck affords you the space to do that. We have Red Dragon, Archfiend, Scrap Dragon, Stardust, a Gaia Dragon, only one of each Mecha Fan to be Draco Sack and Big Eye, and a Heliopolis as well. And then the side deck, we have a DD Crow, two copies of Electric Fires, Triple MST, two copies of Debunk. This is nice for multiple reasons, but being able to stop any effects in hand or grave are obviously crucial. We have an Eradicator Epidemic Virus, an Infestation Terminus. This has target an Iswarm monster you control and two cards your opponent controls. Banish the first, and if you do return the second targets to the hand, this is a bit perplexing. The only logic I could see for this is you like Electric Virus take Ophion and then get rid of it for Terminus, but that that just seems like it would never happen, but I don't know. I guess they would get it back otherwise. So maybe there's something there. Who knows? We have Decree, Triple Skill Drain, and Solemn Warning rounding out our side deck. So this is going to be exciting. I can't wait to see what deck Joseph brought to the table today. It's going to be an interesting way to see how the Dragon Ruler decks have evolved. And uh, it's pretty indicative of what you would expect to play around this time because you could be playing any manner of Dragon Ruler variant. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, buddy, welcome to September 2013 format. This is great, right? The baby dragons are banned. Clearly, this format's going to be devoid of dragon rulers. There's not going to be any dragon ruler decks running around, right? <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I think that we've solved the problem. You know, there's no more dragon rulers that are meta. 
and definitely not yeah. two decks playing nine or ten of them in this best of three. No, of course not. Why would anyone even conceive of doing that when there's so many better options you could be playing, like Four Axis Fire Fist or uh, Bujin? That that's a deck. Bujin Judgment of the Light just came out. We could play that. Uh, does that sound like fun? No. I, I really would not like to Yamato pass, if I have to be honest with you. We're going to have to at some point, but uh, today is not that day. Uh, I actually think this is going to be interesting to see how these decks have evolved. There is still a lot to cover, but I don't think we're going to be covering all of it because I don't think our audience would like to see four more episodes of intricate Dragon Ruler mirrors with like six cards difference amongst these decks. But in any case, I still think we're going to get to have a fun match. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's go ahead and shout the patron. It is Defying the Meta. Thank you for the support, buddy. Do you have the hand up? Yeah. I'm going to go with even. It is even six for the stars on the Dragoonity I cannot pronounce. Oh, okay. Giving away a bit of your strategy here, I see. Well, All right. you know, could be anything. Could be anything. Not like your sleeves gave that away prior, but yeah. it's fine. Ooh. All right, buddy. Good luck. I will draw and we will try to do our best. Looking at this hand. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> let's, a uh, let's take a moment to think here. I just want to see what happens. Yeah, okay. I'm going to banish uh, Max C and Title for Redox. What is your hand? That's completely fine. Okay, I'll trigger Title. With Title, uh, Shocker, I'm going to grab another Title. All no right. stream anymore, sadly. I'm going to Normal Summon White Stone of Legend. Yep, I figured this one would be pretty alluring to you. And uh, we'll sync up here. I am going to go for a card we have not seen yet, or seen in a while, I should say, Colossal Fighter. This will trigger our White Stone. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves the good old OG, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Then I'm going to trade in Pitch Blue Eyes to draw two. That's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, sadly, that is the end of my turn, so I will pass. Colossal Fighter pass, huh? All right, uh, stand by me. Sure. Uh, we'll upstart here. I'll take a thousand. That's fine. Okay. Uh, what are we doing with this hand? All right, so we're going to Sacred Sword seven stars. Uh, sure. We're Banish Blaster. Draw two. We'll trigger Blaster here. We'll grab a Blaster. Okay. All right, so you have a maxi. We'll terraforming. Uh, I'm going to grab Dragon Ravine. Uh, we will activate Dragon Ravine. Uh, we're going to declare Dragon Ravine. I'm going to pitch a Phalanx, and we will activate the effect to add to hand. Uh, I'm going to grab a Dux. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to normal Dux. I'm going to activate the effect targeting the Phalanx. That is fine. I'll trigger the Phalanx, summoning it. I guess I'll maxi. He called it out. All right. Uh, get your card, and now I will pass my turn. I'm going to set one, activate Gold Sark. Uh, we'll banish Redox. No, we, we want Tempest in rotation. We'll banish Tempest, trigger Tempest. Set one more, and it's back to you. Two back row, huh? All right. Uh, that's a good way to play around maxi, I guess. Draw. Anything to stand by? No. I'm going to activate the effect of Tempest, pitching it and Corsesca to add a dragon to my hand. I think I probably just want to get the final dragon in rotation. I think we actually just go for Blaster. I'm going to activate Redox. I'm going to banish Whitestone and Corsesca. That's fine. Okay. Redox is here. I'm actually going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to banish the Maxi instead of one of the dragons. Sure, that's Because Redox is Earth. Messes with my dragon count a bit. Uh, summon Title. Banishing uh, double Corsesca. Uh, you have Blue Eyes and Tempest in here. All right, so uh, in response to the activation of Title, I am going to Vanities. Oh, fuck. Gross. Okay. God, I don't miss this fucking card. Holy shit. Tell me about it. I will go to battle. I'm going to put Colossal Fighter into... Uh, I'll go for the ducks, sure. All right, I'll simplify this for you. I've got a Mirror Force. Um, I'm losing the Vanities anyway, so... Okay, so Colossal down, lose Vanities. You keep your ducks, though. Second main, uh, Colossal Fighter will not return because he has to be killed in battle. Ah, uh, let's see what happens. If you kill me, you kill me. Sure. Uh, I'll draw for turn. Yep. Uh, so that's going to be turn one on Tempest. Uh, well, uh, unfortunately, I can't kill you with Blader. That would be really cool. We are just going to begin by sinking off Ducks and Phalanx for Varanya. Uh, yep. Let me actually get this one right because people will yell at me. Vajrayanya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we'll equip the Phalanx here. We'll go Phalanx here, like this. Yep. 
Uh, we'll sink them off for Scrap Dragon. That seems all right. Uh, we are going to activate the effect of Ravine. I'm going to pitch Phalanx. Sure. Uh, are you going to be adding or dumping? I'll be adding. You know what? Actually, I may sure. not even be pitching the or the Phalanx. I think it's better in hand, shockingly. Uh, we'll pitch a uh, Red Ox. Sure. Uh, and we'll grab Ducks. Seems better anyway. Yeah. Uh, let's normal the ducks. Uh, ducks effect here. Uh, Get phalanx. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Uh, we're going to swoosh the phalanx. These two to grave. Uh, we'll and go. We'll do it again. Yeah, we're doing literally the exact same line. Uh, Varanya here. Varanya effect. Uh, we'll equip here. Uh, and then we'll summon. Uh, and here we're going to make. Well, geez, I don't know. Uh, I think Stardust is the funniest. Colossal Fighter maybe has some more utility. We'll just make Crimson Blader. He'll come up. Don't worry. Let's go Scrap Dragon targeting Ravine and Redox. Makes sense. Uh, let's go uh, Tempest and then sure. Red Ox. Uh, let's overlay here for Dracosac and then... Oh, you're a nine! <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't worry. We, we, we got two more. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. <sighs> I was hoping you would forget. Shit. Oh yeah, you got god. it. You got wow. it. I was like, what oh the hell? Oh my god. You know, Joseph, I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you this, but would you like to side out Vanity's Emptiness for the next two games? Oh, <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> oh, my God. No, uh, yeah. That's another part of the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! We didn't really get to talk about too much, but around this time, people just decided to try to gentleman's out of certain cards. I feel like this is really the era where that started to I'm even remove playing some of the a luck factor list. out of it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's very fitting. It's yeah. very fitting. Uh, well, going first didn't exactly bode too well for us last time, and looking at this fucking hand, I don't think it's going to bode well for us this time either. Legit, my turn is set to pass. That's fine. I mean, this is one of those, like, maxi board states. Uh, stand by main. Yep. Well, uh, let's begin with a Dragon's Ravine. Is that cool with you? That's fine. We'll activate Dragon's Ravine. I'm going to pitch a Blaster. Sure. Uh, we are going to send a Phalanx to Graveyard here. Yep. I'll normal summon Ducks and activate the effect targeting Phalanx. This has been going pretty well for you so far. That's fine. Well, the whole deck does this and not a lot else. <laughs> so uh, we'll activate the effect of Phalanx drawing you a card. No, instead it's my turn to Vanity's you. All right. Well, shit. I got really greedy here. I think I even had an out to that, but I... I am eating crow. All right, get in there, ducks. Sure, I'll take 15. That's I don't know. Fine. What are you What are you going to do? You're going to have to out this guy eventually. I'll set one back to you. Trust me. Uh, when I find a way to out it, I will let you know. Main one. Jesus Christ, it's not getting much better. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm like double checking my hand to make sure there's nothing I can do, and there just isn't. So go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, stand by main. All good. All right, this will give it away. Sacred Sword. Uh, I'm going to banish Blaster. Yeah. All right, we'll draw two. So I had a uh, double Blaster in the opener, and I was like, okay. oh, oh, this yes, plays so well around Vanities. Uh, speaking of Blaster. <laughs> and then you pitched it uh, off for V. <laughs> let's go for Blaster here. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, yeah, this to Grave. I am going to Ravine here, pitching Blaster. We're going to add to hand. That's fine. I'm going to grab Phalanx. <laughs> keep going. Yeah. Uh, cards of Consonants, Pitching Phalanx. Must be nice, sure. I mean, must be nice. There's not a lot I can do here. All right, well, you have no way to beat a Dragoonity Ducks, right? So what could you possibly do against two? Oh, no, there's a second one. <laughs> this, it's it's the Ducks Brigade, baby. Ducks, Ducks, Ducks. This is 3K. It shockingly yep. is. All right, well, I've got you on the ropes now. All I have to search is my third Ducks, and I've I've got this one. <laughs> Go ahead. We'll draw. Okay. Uh, well, we've got to do something. I will Sacred Swords and get rid of We emptiness. did it, Reddit! Yes, Sacred Sword is fine. Uh, thinking on the Banish here. I think the Banish is title. Sure. Draw to uh, title. I will get shockingly title that's crazy dog emptiness is gone as well uh i will set a card and i will throw it to you <laughs> draw for turn uh stand by main well shoot i don't know uh let's uh shmove a phalanx if you're okay with it i will chain max c all right combat yep 15 15 5 try scarecrow oh okay all right we're we're living we're living okay uh, battle phase has now ended. Um, I'll go to main two. Uh, we're going to ravine here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to discard a sacred sword for cost, uh, and we are going to send. Uh, I am going to send a tempest, I believe. Yeah. 
Just want to have him in rotation. I mean, Tempest is so good in this one specifically. I'll set one. Fucking three back row. Look at this animal. All right. We'll draw. See if there's any way we're out of this. Uh, probably not, considering you probably just have your own vanity sitting in the back row. So I guess with that in mind, well, I suppose... We try for it. I will activate Tempest, banishing Blaster title. I have a Vanity's Emptiness. I have a Return from the Different Dimension. Ooh, I have a Solemn Warning. Fuck off. Oh my God. Yeah, that, that's fucking it. My fucking hand was Cards of Consonance, Cards of Consonance, trade in a tempest and a different dimension reincarnation epic Holy epic shit my opening hand was double consonants trade in and like a dragon ruler and scarecrow i'm wow. pretty sure that was what i opened with so that is that is truly pain truly misery you want to do the game three buddy absolutely <laughs> do you do you want to do the game three and board and actually board out of it I really, <laughs> truly unthinkable that this card was legal. I, it really boggles the mind. It was a one. It was a yeah. one. How? Oh my Wasn't god! It a like, one really? I I yeah, remember. I'm, um, I'm pretty sure it was limited at this point. And if not, like we're just the biggest sacks on the planet that we true. both managed to open. You opened it two games in a row, I by did. the way. Yeah. It's funny. I was making the joke about siding out Vanity's emptiness, and that just happened in that game too. Unreal. Yeah. All no, right. No. Um. We. Uh. I. I remember. Uh, my good friend. Uh. Sorab. Uh being able to go so far with what volcanic just because vanities was a three the card is nonsense not fun at yeah. all yeah i don't know how people even think that card can come back but it is what it is like ocg i think still has it limited for some strange oh if you log reason, on to master duel today master duel to yep vanities master duel yep 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 main one this hand is definitely more playable thankfully uh, i'm gonna go trade in pitch blue eyes draw two that's pretty good yeah uh it's not bad unfortunately i wish it could actually be better but it seems like that's the extent of that all right uh uh, for my next trick, I will go attempt to summon Redox, banishing Blue Eyes, and let's get Tempest out of here. You boy ain't got no maxi. Go for it. All right. Thank the Lord. Uh, get te ah, Do I want Tempest, actually? It's a tough call, actually. No, I will get the Corsesco. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, sure. Uh, then I will run out... Yeah, this seemed to be okay last time. Let's go Whitestone. Uh-huh. Let's make Colossal Fighter again. You on two Whitestones? And then trigger Whitestone. Yeah. Get Blue Eyes. Yep. And then we will set two and throw it your way. Draw for turn. Stand by me. Yep. Uh, we'll go Ravine here. No response to Ravine. Uh, I'll activate the effect pitching a Red Ox. I'm going to try to send. Uh, we're going to send a Phalanx. Seems pretty good. Uh, normal ducks. Ducks effect. Uh, that's pretty good. Yep. Uh, phalanx effect. Special? Uh, sure. I have no maxi either. Yay. All right. Where are we going from here? Didn't think we'd get this far. You know, Vajrayana can actually double its attack to get over Colossal Fighter in case you wow. didn't know. Wow. HTS Simoth actually can banish your monster, uh, but I think it has to live, uh, which is <laughs> not likely. That was out at this time? I thought I know, that card right? came out way later. Uh, we'll go Varangia. Uh, this is fine. Uh, yep, bring I'm back the go ducks. For phalanx again. Or not the ducks. Phalanx, yeah. And what do we want to make? Jeez, I, I just don't even know. Uh, we'll just go <laughs> Scrap Dragon again. I'm going to Wind Blast Scrap Dragon. Ooh, okay. That's pretty good. No response to that. Uh, the pitch was the blue eyes. Pitch was the blue eyes. That's a good one. Uh, so we're going to banish Faranya and Ducks. We'll get our Red Ox in defense. Uh, I will set one, two, and back to you. Two back row again, huh? All right, we'll draw. Uh, stand by main. Almost sort of inclined to do nothing. <laughs> Shit, I'm no. Being honest. That, that beats me. No, don't do that. <laughs> That's like how you win. Like, I feel like if you just don't do anything, then it's just like put Redox back in hand. Like, whatever. I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, it gives you fodder for Ravine. Yes, that's but right. You don't want me to have Ravine fodder, do you? I kind of don't care. Like, nothing I do seems like it's... Fuck it. Go. <laughs> All right. Well, he's going back to hand. He is uh, going back to hand. I can't do anything about that. Stand by me. Uh, okay. Let's go Ravine. Sure. Pitch the Redox again. Yes. I. You truly cannot defeat one such as I. Uh, let's go ahead and grab Ducks. Uh, we're going to normal the Ducks. We're going to target the uh, the Phalanx. This might be a bit sus. I'm going to Warning Ducks. 
Ooh. Uh, that was not sus at all. That was pretty good. Oh, man. That's... Wow, that... That's interesting. I could have done that last turn, but like I didn't think there was a point. Okay, I um, think. But now you only have one dragon, and Vajrayana would have given you a second one. All right, we're gonna banish these two for Redox. Uh, Dux is not a dragon, sir. Oh well, then I cheated last turn. You dad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, Do we need to go back? I don't. I don't know if we can. If if you want to, it would it would be a difference of me not summoning Red Ox. I was about to say, is that big enough of a difference? I can banish the Phalanx instead for the Redox. The difference is I Last... never get ducks there afterwards. And now I know you have Solemn, right? Yes, that would be the only difference. Well, if you're cool with that. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, uh, can't wait till we get roasted in the comments for that one. I like how I figured out Ducks was a wing beast uh, this time, not the other time. I'm actually curious now if you did that in the other games as well, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, we will. Uh, so it's weird <laughs> because Ducks can be banished for Tempest. Which it can be banished for up. Tempest, yeah. So you might have actually done it correctly then. Uh, yeah. Speaking of, Ravine. Oh, excellent. Okay. I'll pitch ducks for sure. Tempest. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, Tempest time. Uh, sure. Uh, wow. I don't even, I can't even do this. Uh, it has to be, oh Man, who knew taking Vanity's emptiness out of the decks would make the decks require so much more thinking? <laughs> Who knew that uh, not cheating would, you know, change so much? That too, right? That too. We're going to go Red Ox here. I'm going to banish Tempest Ducks. That is... You can't banish Ducks for Red Ox. Okay. Uh, we're going to go... <laughs> Temp... Uh, no, but Tempest here is so bad. We're going to go Tempest here. Okay. No, we can't even go Final Tempest. answer? <laughs> you know what? Uh, okay. Here's what we're going to do. I will activate... Mm... All right. We're going to go Ducks... Red Ox for Tempest. For Tempest. That is a valid move. Yes. Finally, Red Ox effect, add Red Ox. Okay. I will tribute summon Mist. Mistletane, you get to equip ducks to this? Yes. You have two back row. I know you have Redox because you searched it off banishing the Redox. Yeah, the last card is the dead Redox. Yeah. So you have two back row that I don't know. Okay, fuck it. I'll just warning this. I don't care. Putting you at the life points you're currently at. Yes. Uh, okay. Return from the different dimension. Ah, I see. Yeah, that's fine. Wah, 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 wah. It's a shame we already used all of these stupid goddamn effects. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so none of these guys get anything. Uh, we're going to send ducks and phalanx to the grave for Varanya. Uh, we'll grab Phalanx. Uh, we'll shmoove him over. Phalanx effect. We are going to link these two off for Scrap Dragon. Uh, we will activate Scrap Dragon here. We're going to pop Faranya and Colossal Fighter. And then we did it! We'll get in! <laughs> 28! All that. All right. Uh, second main. That's that's all I got. Goodbye, Red Ox. Probably should have just held warning. I don't know why I wasted it on something Colossal Fighter could have killed. But it's okay. I, I don't know what else this deck this can position. do. Uh, I guess I was being a bit hesitant, but... Ravine, my oh, turn. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, well, you know, it is what it is. Uh, sure. I will pitch title. Unfortunately, I don't think... I actually do have some Dragoonities. I do play Corsesca, but I actually think I would rather just dump dragons instead. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We have a title. We have a Redox. What else we got? I could dump white stone to add a blue eyes to hand. That's quite funny. Uh, actually, no, I can't because I'm out of blue eyes. I've already used them all. So I think we probably just dump ourselves blaster just to get him in rotation. We got a couple rulers to work with. I'm going to go blaster effect, banish white stone, blue eyes. Yep. Okay. Uh, then we'll go... I'm also on edge, because I know you have Mirror Force from losing to that last, uh, game one. True. Although I don't know if I lost to it, True but it was quite stated. annoying. That is correct. We'll go title. Uh, I'm gonna banish both monsters out of my hand. Okay. We're gonna overlay. Uh, I will take... your Scrap Dragon. No! 
get rid of this. Uh, scrap Dragon effect, pop ravine, pop the back room. It is mystical ref panel. We'll go to battle uh, 28. Okay. Don't think there was a way. There was not. I was one dragon off of being able to kill you, sadly. So uh, I guess I'm screwed now, so go ahead. Yeah, sometimes you play like crap and you get rewarded anyway. Uh, okay, speaking of, let's just do this. Oh, excellent, yep. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab, I think we have a ducks left, yeah. Uh, not that it matters. Uh, we'll no, just banish a bunch of cards that aren't dragons, apparently, uh, to go for <laughs> this guy. We'll banish yep. these guys for this guy. Uh, we'll overlay here, uh, big eye, big eye, your big eye, and then big eye, my big eye, and then normal ducks, and then that's lethal. All hinged on the fact that I should have just saved warning for return, and we probably would have been okay. But I don't know. This third one was pretty scuffed, uh, but the first two were just vanities mirrors, so who cares? And uh, guess what? We're going to be seeing a lot of that in the future because yeah. vanities stays around for quite a long time, sadly. And yep. uh, people get very frustrated with that card very quickly. $30 common, by the way. Very cool. Very based. Very epic. Very red-pilled. I can't think of a single continuous trap card that's $30 these days. Some sort of floodgate effect on it. Um, a little different because no one's actually playing skill drain, but, uh, yeah, yeah, no, um, shocking, shocking to be sure that it is still legal in some formats. Uh, I do like these two decks. Um, I personally am a huge fan of Ravine Ruler. I think that it is, uh, kind of the logical conclusion of splashes for, uh, Dragoonity, and, um, it has a ton of tops throughout, um, I think September and October, uh, post ban list, of course. Um, Blue Eyes Ruler uh, had a lot of really impressive finishes at ARG events, um, but in the top cut breakdowns uh, that where uh, like Hoban's talking about it, uh, he actually got off Blue Eyes Ruler for a lot of the reasons that I think you experienced. Like, it's really cool, yeah. uh, and it's awesome to play the Blue Eyes and like Whitestone, but yeah. The uh, benefit of doing so is pretty minimal uh, compared to the long eight-star chains that Dragoonity allows you to do. Like, if you think about it this way, um, both of these require a pretty dedicated splash to use cards of consonants, and you get trade-in as well, but the deck is already on triple Sacred Sword. Um, the difference is you have to expend a ruler to get to your eight-star synchros, yes. and this deck doesn't, yes. uh, which is... Uh, pretty good argument for playing the Dragoonity version, in my opinion. Absolutely. I think one of the arguments for my deck, we didn't get to see it, but is the Azure Eyes. Like, this card yeah. in the mirror is actually quite good, because oh, yeah. making it so that your dragons can't be targeted or destroyed means that you're almost guaranteed to live through Crimson Blader, and it's 3k defense, and it, you have to use you have to use blue eyes to make it. So then next turn, you can either get back blue eyes or it's any dragon normal. So you can actually get a Flamvel guard for another synchro plate to go into Crimson Blader with any ruler next turn to potentially Crimson Lock your opponent if you're able to stop them at the right point. Um, obviously, this deck would have probably looked about better if it was piloted by Fraser Smith instead of me, who pi played it like shit. But... Uh, you know, it was really fun to be able to, like, play OG Blue Eyes in a deck, right? Mm -hmm. And Whitestone actually being able to plush you off of your consonants, getting you that Blue Eyes for either an extra dragon that you can banish off your rulers, or being able to pitch it for something like Windblast, which I did in this game, uh, was a lot of fun. And I think it's just neat to see all the different directions that the ruler decks start to take on shape when you remove the babies from the equation, because then it's like, okay, the babies are gone. Now you can start to experiment with all the other fun, crazy shit that you can do if you splash these guys in other different dragons type decks. Hence, you know, the two decks you see before you here. You know, it's not hard to see what Konami was going for here, right? Like there is actually a problem with dragons in rotation when you remove the babies from the equation, right? You yes. do have to like probably, you know, um, supplemented with an engine that uh, bins or adds dragons to your hand. Um, but we are also seeing the uh, mistake that Konami made, which is releasing it into an environment where there's like four of those engines. And yep. uh, we saw two of them, uh, and we are going to see more in the future as well. Uh, I believe we still have Hieratics, Swarns, Plant Rulers, Assault Mode. I mean, there's a lot still <laughs> to play with these cards. And we'll probably be showcasing off, maybe not in mirror matches, but showing off some of the other decks on the peripheral of the format, because uh, surprisingly, even though Dragon Ruler is still dominating everywhere, because now Dragon Ruler's checked a bit, because Spellbook of Judgment is banned, some of these other decks actually do manage to start popping up here and there, although they are obviously eclipsed by the power level of this deck. At least it gives the player base some breathing room to be able to explore some other strategies. 
So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So big shout to Shout1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Tim00x3, Chaotic Meatball, MBT Play, Medulce, Eka, Iron Fang, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man, Hoban, Synchro Guy, Ole, I Ship, MBT, and Simo, Draconic, Rock Slide, Jordan Coons, Iron Blades, and Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Lou, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Phoenix the Immortal, Cody Bretch, John Two Base, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Hornet, Give Me Speed Roider, Give Me Death, TC Gaming, Thanks for the Sleeves, Dad, Matthew Brady, Max, MBT's Gamer Word Pass, Tom Russell, Twinkle Muncher, Why Read Cards When You Can Just Click Buttons, Valen Jackson, Orange You Glad I Didn't Say Alpha Tribute Ben 10, Helios 515, Thank You, Simo, MBT Gage, The RJB Zero, and Ruxin 34, MBT Fans Scare Me More Than COVID, Simping for Simo, Stolfin Amethyst, Tyler H, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, Mike Ty, Rev Skinner, Nim Noodle, Mallow Branch of the Burning Tunnels, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, Skull Servant, and The Wandering Doomed Are Boyfriends, MBT canceled by all communities soon canceled by all committees soon canceled by all players soon not reading cards makes the game interesting and you know it thundertaker versus simo and mbt hunter reed and shrugs thank you so much for watching the video and we will see you next time